So here we are at uh, Nickel Mania in Springville. Um, so basically over here, this half of the building is entirely ticket games. Um, so just, you know, probably where they're making all the money. And got some of the other games that are kind of fun, not for the fact that they give out tickets, but they still do give tickets. Basketball routine, ski ball. A um, couple other games of chance, completely random spinners, stuff like that. Now we've got a couple of uh, modern shooters. These actually have flat screen TVs in them. Um, it's like 2009 and 2010. Um, House of the Dead 2 by Sega. Um, kind of, you know, stuff. Uh, some bottom projected uh, TVs. Uh, just big screen TVs. Um, let's see here. Maximum Force, Gunblade, Special Air Assault Force, NY, Dance Dance Revolution Supernova, uh, Air Tricks by Sega. Um, still with the uh, Japanese warnings and everything. So obviously imported. Um, Star Wars Trilogy Arcade. Uh, they got X-Men here, which is kind of super awesome. I didn't realize this. So you have the two screens. It's actually not two screens side by side. It's actually a screen down there and then a screen up in there. So that's a screen, that's a mirror. So part of it is mirrored, but uh, that's kind of how it does all that. And then it kind of has a little bit of an overlay in the middle. I imagine if it was calibrated better, as you can see from the different sides. Uh, Tekken. Tetris on uh, TV like this. It kind of looks like it was any other fighting game machine um, with the four buttons. A um, couple of birthday rooms, not much. Drinks, snacks. NBA play by play. So, what year was this? It was 1998. So, Super Nintendo <laughs> quality. A little bit better. Uh, Congo Bongo. This one's a new one. I'm not familiar with them having it here. And I'm actually not familiar with this game at all. 1983 by Sega. Uh, Burger Time. We got 720. Um, I hate this game. I hate the controls. I just, I can't. I can't play it. It's too awful. Hubert. Um, Rampage, Missile Command. Uh, the problem with this Missile Command machine is normally you have the three um, three rockets, I guess the bases, and then you got the stuff there, but they're off screen a little bit, so is the score and stuff, so you kind of have to look down and see it. It's my high score. Um, got a high score on Joust. Um, it's really good, fun game. It's, you know, like uh, Balloon Fight. I don't know which one came first. This one, this one was uh, 1982, so Joust probably came first. Um, food Fight. Narc. Say no to drugs. So, obviously, 90s maybe? Late, late 80s? Um, kind of a touchscreen poker machine. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Top Gunner. Uh, you fight against the Soviets. You see the little Soviet flags and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Donkey Kong Jr. I actually got an opportunity to buy one of these machines for I think like a hundred bucks as a kid, working and everything, but uh, I decided not to because I couldn't find any place for it. Crazy Climber. Not familiar with this one. Uh, 1981. Uh, Spy Hunter, this is out of order. Um, and then... Warlords, it's got this overlay on it. Um, I believe it's got two screens, maybe? Yeah, so it's got this screen here that overlays, and then the one on top there, uh, King of Fighters, Gorf. Uh, this one's kind of interesting. It's got like a voice voice synthesizer. Uh, Fisherman's Bait, Marlin Challenge, Killer Instinct, uh, Police Training, uh, sorry, Police Trainer, Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3. Uh, I've never heard of this one, and I'm probably going to get a little flack from uh, fighters. I don't know what this is. No, it's not a fighter. 
to ship this one. Target force gold. Uh, let's see here, Paperboy. It's got this interesting control on it. Um, I don't know exactly how it plays out. Uh, graphics are better than the NES version. It's by Atari. I think it's better. I may be remembering it wrong. I thought everything was like a solid color with no textures. Um, Jurassic Park The Lost Worlds. Blitz 99. Let's see here. Suzuka, eight hours, two. Virtual on. Uh, me and Caleb played this. Why Sega, but the controls are really kind of wonky. I think this one's one of the few machines here. As awful as it sounds, you can actually, they'll get jammed quite often and it'll actually pop out a lot of nickels. So if you pay in a bunch of nickels, you can do it. Uh, Time Crisis 3. Frenzy Express. It's a scooter, so I guess the scooter fed of the late 90s, early 2000s. What year did this come out? 2001. Yeah. They kind of got a break down here, and then you pedal here. Nothing special. Uh, Sega Daytona USA. Got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtle in Time, Guitar Hero, which is another modern one, uh, Simpsons, Hydro Thunder, which is looks like it's a three three player network, Crazy Taxi, Cruising World. Uh, this one's actually, if you pay attention for it long enough, I believe this one says that it uses uh, the. Uh, Oh, goodness. It uses, like, an N64X or something like that. It's like some sort of variant on the N64. Um, I'll probably splice it in right here if I can find it. Usually it'll pop up on screen. I can't say that it was the N64 disk drive, but maybe, maybe it was. If I hit start a bunch of times, press buttons, sometimes they'll start up. No, nothing. Okay. Uh, trophy hunting with the little shotguns down there. Sorry, I'm looking. I just want to see if this shows up, but I'm guessing it probably won't. Uh, Dark Select. Silent Scoop. Um, I think the... Uh, Unless I'm just totally missing it, yeah. Looks like the screen is not working. Or it may not work at all. Uh, until you put coins in. Ghost Squad. Um, it's got these uh, larger assault rifles. Aliens. Um, also uses a flat screen. Gun Legends. I believe Gun Legends was on the N64, and this actually uses an N64. I'll have to look it up. I'm kind of just talking off the top of my head. The Golden Tee, it's got a trackball. Deer Hunting USA. Time Crisis 2. Carnival. And then we got a lot of uh, arcade, uh, sorry, pinball machines. You know, just pinball machines being all their different brands. Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, Indiana Jones. Terminator 2, oh, Twilight Zone, Family Guy, Star Trek. And then over here there's a couple other ones, just kind of in the space band the corner. Nothing too crazy. <clears throat> Got another thing, Gauntlet, Moon Patrol, I'm not familiar with. Tubin, I'm not familiar with. The screen's actually a flat screen. I was gonna say, it kinda looks awfully clear for a screen. I guess, when did this come out? I don't even know who the company is. Huh, yeah. Tough to look that up, too. Um, Crystal Castles, the trackball. Frogger. Defender. Donkey Kong. Um, I think these controls are a little wonky. Uh, Super Mario Bros. Centipede Asteroids with the vector display. Um, Tron. Oh, yeah. 
and then Pac-Man. And this is a Pac-Man Galaga Miss Pac-Man machine. And then they've got a couple of air hockey tables, uh, foosball, and then some sort of hockey thing. Um, yeah. And that's basically it.